I'm going to demonstrate how I make a pretty standard frame and fit the foundation. So although you can buy frames already made up and fitted with foundation, the vast majority of beekeepers uh, make them themselves. Now, all you need is just a pack of frames, a hammer, and a sharp knife and a flat surface to um, uh, make a frame on because you need to get it uh, square if you get it twisted when it goes into a hive uh, the gap between the frame uh, can vary that can cause cause you problems in you so so make sure that you get your frames uh, square and uh, flat so both of these have got slithers in so just with a sharp knife just cut the sl sl slither out if you've got hundreds of frames to do, uh, they probably don't do it. But certainly for an amateur uh, beekeeper, it just makes it easier. So here's the top bar. No, you'll notice that I'm not going to be cutting the wedge out until afterwards. And there are two reasons for that. One is that I'm not going to lose it when it's in store waiting for the foundation to go in. And the other thing is that when I put the two end bars in like that I can then cut that out uh, the knife goes up against the end bar and I'm not going to cut myself so what I do at this stage is just put the side bars in and make sure you get the slot on the inside because on many occasions I've seen them slot on the outside so just put those in there uh, like that and then turn it over Tap that down, tap that one down. You can have a look along it to see if it's twisted or not. It is a little bit twisted, but in any case, you can use your um, surface to um, to make sure it's, it's okay. This one needs to go in a little bit more. Frame nails, <clears throat> you can buy these in um, in, in little packs. Um, I suggest you use nails rather than uh, staples, as some people do. Um, if you want to use staples because you've got larger numbers, then do so. I tend to nail a frame so it doesn't come apart, and that's probably different from what a lot of people will um, uh, will t teach you. So just one nail down through there. Another nail down through there, and that's the two side bars on. <clears throat> now I accept that these are the normal standard frames, they're not the Hoffmans. If you've got Hoffmans, then it's probably wise to nail through from both sides, but that of course is uh, up to you. Now we take the uh, bottom bars, make sure they haven't got any knots in, in the middle, even if they have and they are live knots, just put a little bit of pressure on to make sure they're not uh, going to break. Very often beekeepers are advised to nail the bottom bars through the bottoms like that, both of them. The reason usually given is so that you can take the frame apart in order to clean it. A lot of beekeepers, because these are so cheap, they're only about 50 pence a piece, uh, because they're so cheap, a lot of beekeepers don't bother with that. Uh, they just burn them with the old comb and then um, uh, and then replace them. The other sort of problem is that because uh, it's easy to get the bottom bar out, it's also easy for the bottom bar to come out in use. And on many occasions I've had a problem where uh, the bottom bar gets left behind, especially in, in supers. Um, obviously because it, it, the, the, the bees stick it up, stick the bottom bar of the uh, top super to the top bar of the, of the one below. So for that reason, I nail through that part, portion there. So the nail actually goes through the, um, uh, the side bar and the bottom bar as well. I can then 
put the foundation in, I can then clean it uh, with absolutely no problem and more importantly the bottom bar doesn't come out in use. Like that. And the same the other end. there is a frame ready for foundation so these can get stacked in empty brew chambers and what and um, left until you actually need them so now I'll cut the wedge out and this can be done probably six months if you like after you've made made the uh, made the frames uh, you certainly won't lo lose the uh, uh, lose the wedge and you also shouldn't cut yourself because all I'm going to do is just slice that down through and if you notice, the side bar is stopping the um, uh, stopping the knife uh, coming out. So there it is. You may need to to um, shave off these uh, slither, slivers, but if you do, just use a sharp knife and go away from you. When you're storing foundation, it really needs to be flat if you possibly can. So something like a board. Um, and if you've got two or three packs of foundation, don't forget they come in packs of ten. Uh, then then uh, pack them up and put something flat on top of it so, so that they don't distort or get damaged. Keep the foundation in the plastic bag because it will keep, keep fresher. When you come to use it, just take it out and then you can peel it off, usually nice and easy. Now what a lot of people don't tell you is that beeswax actually expands and contracts with the temperature of variation. Sometimes on a hot day it's very difficult to get foundation in the, in, in, in the frame so you need to be careful uh, about that. Wide foundation has got different lengths of loops. Long loops are one end, short loops the other end. The long loops are the ones that go into the frame first. They're then bent over so that the wedge holds the foundation in the frame. So when it comes to fitting foundation, I fit the foundation down through the bottom bars. Uh, I hold them apart, just put my fingers in there like that and it squeezes on my fingers. All I need to do is just get the foundation in the, in the bottom bars which I'll do like that. Once it's in, I can then slide that down until I get to about that point. I then fold over the loops and the wire and then put that home like that. And put the wedge in. Now there's no need to put the nails through the loops, none, none, none whatsoever. Well, I only use two nails and I put them in at a little bit of an angle. Like that. I put the nail through at an angle like that because it's going to uh, get nailed into the wood if not, there is a danger that the nail will come out of this opposite side. They need to go through this way because with the length of the nail, if you nail through the other way like that, you end up with the nail coming out of the top bar. And I've uh, seen one or two knuckles that have been uh, knocked on these and uh, these nails are actually quite sharp. Nail that home. Same up there. And that's it foundation in there you've got a nice strong frame the bottom bars won't come out and you've only used uh, six nails I know beekeepers are often advised to put the nail through the loops and the reason is that the foundation doesn't uh, fall out but I can give that a fair old tug and there's absolutely no way 
that foundation will um, uh, will come out. Uh, so that's why I only put two uh, two nails in there. Um, it, it's using less nails, and of course, it takes up less time. So thank you very much for watching this video. I hope it's been useful to you, and it might be a slightly different way than, of doing it uh, than you've been uh, advised to do. But as in everything else in beekeeping, there are different ways of doing things, and it's really what suits you and what you think is uh, is best. So thank you very much for watching.